Hello guys, welcome to SAS TV. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can create a web application in Visual Studio 2019. So yeah, let's get started. To create a web application in Visual Studio 2019, we have to click on create a new project. In the search bar here, we'll search web API. So two things come up the ASP.NET web application .NET framework and the other one is ASP.NET core web application. So you can choose either of them. Uh, for now, I would be preferring core solution. So I'd be selecting this and clicking on next. So now we have to give the project name, choose the location. So um, the project name will be employee management system. So the reason being I gave this name employee management system is because the next videos we will be going further will be based on the same example, the employee management. So yeah, that's the reason I gave it. We'll learn eventually why I named this project as employee management system. But yeah, for now, let's go on and create the application. So for this, I will be going ahead and creating this solution in here. I will be selecting this and select the folder. Yeah, so I'll be creating the solution in G projects. And the solution name will be same as of the project name we are, we are keeping and I will click on create. So Visual Studio is going to take some time and create the web application for us. But before that we have to we, we have to choose this thing like what what uh, frameworks we have to choose what core and all. So yeah, uh, I will be selecting .NET core instead of .NET framework as I told earlier. And in here we have three options. ASP.NET Core 2.1, 3.1 and 5.0. 5.0 is the latest one, the recent one. Um, so I'll be selecting 3.1 for now. In here we have many options. We can select an empty project. So in the empty project we will not be having anything. Just the solution created. In the API one we will be having the uh, controllers folder already created. Nothing else. And in these two web application and web application model view controller we'll be having three different folders created. One is the controllers folder, uh, one is the views folder, and the other one is the models folder. So yeah, uh, I will be choosing the API one as I'm not planning to do the front end thing right now. We are just going to uh, plan on the plan and work on the back end thing. So yep, uh, we'll selecting the API and I'll click on create. So now Visual Studio will take some time and create the web application for us. So, so let's wait until the Visual Studio creates the application. Okay, I guess it's taking some time. So let's just skip it to the part where it gets created, okay? So yes, guys, there we have it. The employee management system solution being created. The solution name is same as of the web application. So in here, we have the controllers folder, as I said earlier. We also have this model here. So yep, uh, in the controller folder, we will be having one class file already there. It's the weather forecast controller. It's just like an example for the newbies, you know, like uh, if they want to understand what things are being written in the controller thing. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.